Welcome to another episode of Quick Clean Eats. On today's episode, I'm going to be showing you something I love cooking, scallops. I'm just going to make you a quick salad, so stay tuned and I'll show you how to do it right away. Okay, so scallops. So what I have here are three U10 scallops. These are perfect. They just came in. So I wanted to show a variation of an easy salad right now, especially with summer right around the corner and very light, very uh, colorful. So I got three U10 scallops. I'm going to turn on my pan while it heats up while I describe what I'm going to do. So what I did first was take paper towel and dry it out. You have to dry the scallops very much so, so you can get a nice sear on them. Scallops by nature release a lot of water per day. So every day your scallop will get a little bit more watery as it goes on, so you must make sure you dry it. So what I'm gonna do is just take a little olive oil, toss them, and just kosher salt. I don't like using any kind of pepper on the scallops because the flakes will show since the scallop is really white and some guests feel that it's dirt or something else. I'm very careful with scallops. And since scallops by nature are very buttery, you really just need just a little bit of kosher salt. So what I'm gonna do is just take a little olive oil, put it in my pan. I'm gonna take the scallop, set it nice like that, and let it sear on that side. Scallops, what you're looking for more than any other seafood is a nice solid sear. The, the better the sear, the better the butter that comes out of the scallop. So while that's searing, I'm gonna take my mixing bowl, take some baby arugula that I have. As you can tell, I love using baby arugula for the peppery taste, very light. So a little olive oil, a little lemon juice, a little salt, and just toss it. So you set that aside, your salad's already ready to go. Over here in my plating bowl, I'm gonna take a little burrata cream. This is just a cream from the burrata. So I'm gonna take that and put it on the base of my bowl. Three ounces should be just plenty for your salad. Now I'm gonna take some baby heirloom tomatoes that we got in fresh from the garden. These are very good right now, especially at this time of season. You can find these at your local grocery store. Shouldn't be that much of an issue. Same thing here, I'm gonna take just a little olive oil a little kosher salt, and then toss them up and set those aside. Now I'm going to take my baby arugula, put it right on top of the burrata just to cover it. So the burrata is more like a little bed for it. I'm going to take my cherry tomatoes and just layer them around. Just like that. One thing I've been playing around with as the season has gone on is radish. This is watermelon radish. I like the bitterness of it. It gives every salad that I've used it on, even some savory dishes, a very nice little bite. So I'm just going to put a little radish, maybe just two ounces at the most, just on top. It's going to give it a little crunch and a little uh, bitterness. So as you can see, the scallops are already almost searing. Uh, I would say you're still about a little bit away. So what I'm gonna do at this point is just add a little butter. This is gonna give it a little bit of, of a sweeter taste. So as that's searing, we continue with our salad. So at this point, as you can see, your salad's already basically done. The finishing touches will be done when I put the scallops on top. Over here, we have a little rhubarb sauce that we made so we're going to use that as our finishing sauce and then we have some still some micro greens to go now your scallops are nicely seared on one side as you can see the color that's what you're looking for that nice hard sear and then you got the butter that's still on the plate i use that to still keep on going at this point what i like to do is add some lemon into the butter which is going to flavor my scallops even a little bit more Then I like to add a little shallots and a little garlic. This is what gives that butter the flavor that you're looking for. Scallops are very, very delicate. 
As you can see, I seared it hard on one side. I flipped it over. At this point, they're done. I just take it off the fire, let it sit for a little bit, and they're ready to plate. So over here, I'm going to take the smaller scallops and put them on the bottom. So I want to show the bigger scallop on top. It's always a presentation that you're looking for, just like that. I could add some of the liquid from the pan, but I won't. I don't want the salad coming out too buttery. So now I take some of the rhubarb sauce that we have and drizzle. I'm going to take some of the little micro herbs and make almost like a little nest. I think for this presentation, that's what I'm going to try to do. Just something simple. Like so. Look at all the color of that plate. It's just very pretty, very elegant. Over here I have some micro lavender. I'll just drop that. This is going to give it that purple color that we're doing right now. And there you go. A simple seared scallop dish with a little burrata, a little baby arugula, some uh, radish and some micro herbs. Very simple, very light, very easy salad to do right now for the summer and just very simple. I mean, you can take it, you can do some, uh, some uh, different plates with it. A couple tips. You can uh, omit the scallop and do some grilled shrimp. You can do uh, seared salmon. You can even do grilled chicken if you don't like seafood. Those are just a couple tips. And then the biggest tip of all is to make sure you dry your scallop very well before you sear it. So there you go. Thank you for watching this episode. Stay tuned for next week for another episode. Please subscribe to the channel. Leave me any comments you want. Thank you. See you next week.